Okay, folks. Um, all right. So uh, this is Mandy Burmi from Ace Driving School in uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to turn left at traffic lights. All right. So let's get started. Um, so I'm just going to back up a little bit. All right. Good. So uh, we're going to start moving here. Um, there is actually a taxi behind us. I'm just going to let them go first. Okay. So now I signal left, left shoulder check to make sure blind spot is clear. So this video is all about how to turn left at traffic lights. So we're gonna be turning left at uh, this traffic light here. Now this taxi is also um, going left. They got their left signal on. So what I need to do is I have to slow down a little bit and see what he's doing. So he did not establish um, because the road was empty. So I go in the intersection. Now I establish here waiting for this car to go first and now I'm good to go. So when you're turning left, what you need to do is um, as you're going in the intersection, you have to see if there's oncoming traffic or not. Okay, if there's no oncoming traffic, then you can just go through the intersection without stopping. But if you see oncoming traffic, that means you have to establish because they got the right of way oncoming traffic and pedestrians as well so let's do another left turn here so um, when you're about 30 meters before the intersection that's when you put the signal on so now I got my left signal on I still have both hands on the steering and uh, so complete stop before the stop line so right now um, on this intersection if I get a green arrow, green arrow will give me priority, okay? So if I see a green arrow, that means I can just go because I'm getting priority. But if I only see a solid green light, see there is a green arrow. So that means I don't need to establish, I'm good to go. And when you have a green arrow, that time the um, pedestrians should not be crossing that time. Sometimes pedestrians, um, they don't really care. Um, sometimes they still cross, and then, um, then you have to, you know, uh, let them go first. So now we see a crosswalk, so here you can check on both sides. So on a crosswalk, make sure you physically uh, move your head uh, left and right to uh, check on both sides. If you're not doing that in your test, um, that's gonna be a deduction. So another crosswalk here, same thing here. This time we have a pedestrian as well, so I'm slowing down and uh, full stop here. So just gonna let this, uh, let this guy go first because uh, he has the right of way. Okay, after that I can check on both sides again and now I'm good to go. So on the next turn traffic lights uh, we will be turning left again. So now I put my left signal on and uh, when you stop behind a car you want to maintain your distance from that car like about a car length distance. So this time I have to establish because I have oncoming traffic. So I'm gonna stop, uh, go and stop before the middle of the intersection. After this red truck, I check on the left side to make sure there's no pedestrian crossing and now I'm good to go. And when you're moving from the intersection, you wanna stay closer to the center of the street here if you're turning left on a two-way street. Just imagine a yellow line, like right now, um, there is little bit snow on the road so the yellow lines are actually covered uh, with the snow so you just have to imagine a yellow line uh, to you know stay closer to the center of the street so checking on the pedestrian crosswalk so let's do another left turn here so we are going through different situations guys it's uh, important to understand all different situations so here same thing we stop before the middle of the intersection because oncoming traffic checking pedestrians so looks clear and now we are good to go so when you establish in the middle of the intersection, you're checking three things. You're checking your traffic light because sometimes your traffic light will change first, okay? Because when you establish, maybe from green light, it's gonna change to amber light. When you have amber light, then you check oncoming traffic again. And if they are slowing down, you can go. But if they don't slow down, then you wait for the light to turn red. And when the light is red, that time you have to go because you're in the middle of the intersection. All right. The other thing you're checking is um, oncoming traffic, obviously, right? Because sometimes your light is green, you have oncoming traffic, and if there is a big gap between the oncoming traffic, um, that time you can go. 
And the third thing you're checking is pedestrians, okay? So your light is green, there's no oncoming traffic, but there is a pedestrian crossing, okay? So then you look for pedestrians. So let's do another left turn at this traffic light. So I got my left blinker on. And when you're turning left, um, you want to establish on the left side of the intersection. If you establish on the right side of the intersection, that in Manitoba, that's a automatic fail because then you're on the wrong side of the intersection. What I like to do is uh, when I'm waiting for the light to turn green, I like to observe everything. I like to plan ahead, okay? So here, I don't see any traffic. So there's no oncoming traffic. There's no pedestrian who wants to cross. Uh, so that means uh, when the light turns green, if still there's no oncoming traffic, there's no pedestrian, that means I can just go. But now I do see a car coming. There is a pedestrian coming as well, but pedestrian is actually far. And this car is actually turning right, so they're not going to interfere with us because by the time we go, I think he will already be gone. So he's gone. So light is green, so there's no oncoming traffic, there's no pedestrian crossing. So that means I have to clear the intersection right way. I should not stop in the middle of the intersection, okay? So you need to understand that, okay? So a lot of different situations. So do a lot of practice, go through all, you know, go on different intersections because that's how you're gonna get um, different uh, situations. So let's, uh, let's do another left turn on this um, intersection. So we're going to be turning left here. So I have my left blinker on and I'm slowing down. I'm going to stop before the stop line. Stop line is uh, covered with the snow, but I see a little bit. So I'm just going to stop before the stop line. Same thing here. I like to plan everything. Okay. So here um, there is a car. Okay. So there's one car on that side, but uh, there's no pedestrian. And if I look at the traffic lights, um, the left traffic light has four circles in it. That means I maybe I will get a green arrow, okay? Now every traffic light is programmed a little bit different because sometimes the arrow comes first and sometimes the arrow comes later. So I got a green arrow here, that, that means I'm good to go. See the pedestrian is there, but he should not be crossing because why? Because I have a green arrow. And if I have a green arrow, that means I get the right of way. It's priority, okay? So green arrow give you priority to go first, all right? If it's a solid green light, that time pedestrian will cross. But if it's a green arrow, then pedestrians should not be crossing that time, okay? Because that time I have the uh, right of way to go first. Okay, so that's the difference. Because sometimes what happens in the driving lessons, um, students, they will see a green arrow, but at the same time, they're gonna see a pedestrian standing over there and they get confused who goes first, okay? And so they hesitate. And sometimes that hesitation actually becomes critical error in the driving test because if you hesitate and the guy behind you he's gonna start honking and if somebody honks you then you're done okay that's automatic fail there so we're gonna be doing another left turn here so I will um, signal left again maintaining distance from this uh, silver car here so uh, same thing uh, like right now we are quite far from the intersection so maybe by the time we get to the intersection uh, there is oncoming traffic but maybe the road will be already clear because we are still quite far from the intersection so we just have to see okay we, ju we just have to see but um, just as you're going in the intersection just keep checking everything keep observing observing everything so this red car uh, in the left lane is turning left so uh, he's not going to interfere with me so that means i'm good to go and there was no other uh, there was no pedestrian crossing okay so um, that's how you turn left at traffic lights. So I'm just going to um, do another uh, left turn on, um, just gonna do another left turn. Let's do another left turn at traffic lights, guys. So crosswalk here, so we're just gonna check on both sides. And um, this time uh, we have a lot of traffic, so maybe the light will change first. Uh, we just have to see. So I got my left um, blinker on and uh, I'm going to establish here, stopping before the middle of the intersection. Now we are just observing uh, three things, traffic light, oncoming traffic, pedestrians, okay? So maybe after this red car, uh, we can go. Pedestrians, uh, pedestrians are coming as well. I don't know which, which way they are going, okay? So they are going other way, so that means I'm good to go, okay? Because there, uh, there were two pedestrians, but they went the other way. All right, so that means um, I'm good to go that time. 
all right guys uh, so that's it for this video thank you very much and if you guys like to see more videos like this one please uh, hit that like and subscribe button i really need uh, your feedback so let me know you know if you uh, if there's anything else uh, maybe something that you don't understand uh, let me know that as well uh, you know you can always uh, leave your comments and i will uh, get back to you as soon as i can so that's it for this video thank you very much and uh, i will see you guys again in the next video